guys welcome back to my channel today for <laughs> today I have a hair routine for you I just cut my hair um if you have not seen my big chop video then it will be in the description box and I encourage you to watch that um my hair has been cut for maybe two weeks now almost two weeks I know I told you guys in my big chop video I was going to show you my hair routine and so that's what I did and I'll show you my products that I use you don't have to obviously use these products yeah that's all I really have to say we can let the video speak for itself if you are a new viewer welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button if you want to but if you don't like me if you don't like the video like you don't got to do none of that like it's up to you and if you are a returning subscriber thanks for returning and um I hope that you guys enjoy the video um see you guys in the next video Bye. I started so my hair I just got out the shower I don't typically I probably won't typically not every day get in the shower before I do my hair but it's just today because my classes don't start until one that, that's how I wet my hair today any other day I would use a spray bottle that I'll show you in a little bit but while I'm in the shower I always for some I always like put some type of conditioner in my hair and the one that I use is Aussie moisture mega moisture can like just their regular um, conditioner which looks like this and it's kind of wet because I was in the shower because um I've been out the shower for a minute I just got dressed and everything I'm going to still spray my hair because it's kind of it's still very very wet but I like my hair like dripping wet I want to spray my hair with this um spray bottle this is mixed with water and beautiful textures tangling tangle tame leave-in conditioner for mixed textures um, I talked about this in my big chop video that's what's in here I don't really know the ratio I just did like four three or four big um, squirts I put as much water in there so that the like the conditioner is a clumpy in there because if you don't put too much if you have more conditioner than water the conditioner won't mix right so I just did it to where if I shook up the bottle it would have this consistency but yeah I'm just spraying um prices and everything will be in the description bar but this water bottle was not even two dollars and also these a lot of these products are going to be in my big chop video all the products i put in my big chop video um i'm not using today hey so you probably if you can see that my hair is not like it's pretty almost like it's pretty my curls pretty pop now I'll go ahead with my next step and that is to like put wrapping lotion my hair wrapping lotion from smooth and shine this just has um olive oil and tea tree oil so it does have like a very strong smell but it's fine once you get over it while my hair is soaking wet like that i like to take four five six seven maybe big pumps of that and i'm just gonna work it through my hair and no like rhyme or reason just like really just work it through my hair this is just for some reason this really makes my hair um this just really clumps up my curls and defines them for me so that's why i'm using this okay and so while this is like this as you can see it's not all worked in really you can kind of see more so on camera um in person that it's still some foam in there i'm gonna take this garnier fruity sleek and shine anti frizz serum um mm, this is my favorite stuff to use for frizzy hair i don't really remember this price but i'm going to put this on my hair just because i'm so anti frizz when it comes to um doing my twa because um and i'm just putting that through also no rhyme no reason um because because i don't want it to look like because I'm not going for like an afro style. I'm going for a um, more like defined curl style. That's the only reason I'm not like anti-afro or anything like that. It's just personally for me. I just know what I want and what I like. Um, so now after that, I'm going to... This step is important to do um, now. So that you won't mess up your curl with Eco Styler Gel. Um, I'm going to now do my part. My part is just a side part like so. It's pretty deep. Yeah, I like it to be pretty. I like it to go pretty far back. About that much. So that's what that looks like. And so to help that stay in place, um, gel and some um, some Eco Styling Gel and some Gorilla Snot to put that on this part. That's why I said you want to do your don't you don't really want to start really, really defining um because you'll mess up your curls if you really start to finger coil and soup like you know have your hair super defined 
um, you're going to mess up your finger coils because we're further manipulating. So now I'm going to take some Gorilla Snot and I'm going to take my Gorilla Snot and squirt, uh, squirt some on a sticky note. But this is what Gorilla Snot looks like. It's pretty cheap also from Walmart. Seeing the consistency of Gorilla Snot, this is what it, it looks like and it, it's like really stringy. So I like it either way. Anyway, I like it um, even though like that portions in there and it does have alcohol in it that's the only thing that is in my hair that has alcohol in it everything else is um alcohol free so but i wash this out of my hair every like basically every day my hair is getting wet if i'm not doing if i didn't get in a shower in the morning then i got in a shower at night so and i wet my hair at night and i just didn't do anything to it because um, I'm going to sleep so after that point after my part is nice and I'm just taking some more wrapping lotion and defined um, and I'm spraying a little bit more water um, after that we're going to start to finger coil I could wear my hair just like this and it would be fine but like I said I'm real anti frizz and like over here to me is really really um, frizzy just I think because it's shorter my hair is frizzy um i don't know i think it's just because my hair is short and uh, i didn't start it and i didn't tell y'all what i'm doing so i'm taking my eco styler gel which looks like this like i'm pretty sure you guys know what it looks like and i'm taking my fingers and rubbing it on my fingers like so and i'm just finger coiling and i'm doing this to all the areas not even I'm concentrating this method on the areas that are um, frizzy and like less defined um, because I don't like frizzy hair like I said I know I keep saying that like I really really don't like my hair to be frizzy I like my curls to be super defined and even though like as you can see like even though it, it's not like super super defined because it's still like going to be frizzy regardless I think that's just because of the length it is it's like um because like i have a lot of length on top so that's when a lot of that's where a lot of my curls like really are popping because it has it has like um a longer strand of hair to coil if you do you kind of get what i'm saying like, and as you can see i'm defining some parts um on the back i don't put gel on my finger every single time um just when I feel like maybe I'm out of gel because sometimes you can do you can even do this method without gel I just feel like the gel um, keep helps keeps it in place and I'm not doing this to every single strand in every section like that would take forever and people have done that but I don't have the time to do that because like I said I'm going to class so for me I'm just defining those frizzy areas and then random other areas because even though I'm not I didn't define my whole entire head if I did some like if I focus on the frizzy sections and I do a few other like random like finger coils it'll make it appear as my whole head is actually really defined when it's really not like all of it is really really not defined um it just you know it'll just trick the eye that everything is defined and so over here, like I said, this is like shorter just because if you watch my big chop video, you'll understand how my hair is cut. Um, the top is longer and um, the sides are a little shorter and then the back is really, really short. That's why I'm not really focusing like really over here in the back because it's really short. It's not even long enough to roll a grain of rice. So I'm not really going to focus on like the coils. Um, back there I may do a little something back there just for culture but not even like I'm not really focusing back there and I don't really focus up here either because up here really is like nice and coiled but up here in this section at the very front of my hair I do put some I do finger coil that um, because that looks frizzy but um yeah other than that in terms of like me curling my hair and like defining it this is all I do and I'm pretty much done because oh I like to do some little and like this is like my I do this with every natural hairstyle when I used to wear my puff um before I cut my hair I did my hair like this like um maybe I'll insert a picture maybe um I take like the sides and I coil 
those and then this side is weird because i have like this random piece right here and it's like the weirdest texture i'll show y'all like it does not really it's like a wave i'll see it it's like a wave it's not really like um a curl but i'll just let that do whatever it wants to do okay so uh i didn't want this video to be too long but um i'm just showing y'all the process of me doing my hair so yeah that's pretty much it now i'm going to go ahead and lay my edges um so now i'm gonna you know do my baby hairs i think that is crucial for me obviously you know everybody say this when they do their baby hairs you don't have to do it you don't have to um do it all, at all i don't do nothing crazy really um but i think this helps with the frizziness too because i feel like this is the part that is frizzy in my hair because it's just there it's not coiled or or, or anything so i'm going to take my eco styler gel in my big chop video i keep referring to that video because i said a lot of things in that video i know like in that video i said when i do my baby hairs um i use gorilla snots and a um a gorilla snot in a edge control but i ran out of edge control here and i didn't know that so i need to go get some more so instead of that i'm using this eco style gel first and why am i using the eco style gel first i am using eco style gel <laughs> i hate myself i'm using the eco style gel first because it's kind of it kind of like ooh, sorry it kind of like um just it's like a pre-mode i guess you could say just of like what it's gonna look like what my hair is going to look like. And it doesn't honestly even matter because I'm going to class and I ain't really trying to look cute for nobody. I don't really care because I doubt any cute for to be okay. And I'm just not trying to look cute for anybody really besides myself. But I just don't want to always wear hats like I did first semester because I didn't feel like doing my hair. I mean, I'm, that's probably going to happen again because I, you know, just naturally don't feel like doing my hair but i'm about to do my makeup so i'm gonna wipe that excess off um and then just take my toothbrush and y'all know like as y'all can see i'm not doing anything super crazy i'm kind of creating a little wave with it and then this side i just slipped down because um guess what it looked like i'm frizzy so i don't so I like to flick that down because I felt like it was crazy. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, I've been forgetting to do this, but, um, and I wanted to do this on camera, but this is just my rose oil from OK. I put this in my hair all the time before I do this. And lately I've been forgetting. So I'm just going to put a few drops in there now. Um, and I'm not going to work it in. So I, this is, honestly, I'll just put it on my part. Because I feel bad because I do this every I have not been oiling my hair and I do this all I forgot like the last two days I have actually literally forgot to do this um but it's stupid because I'm not gonna rub this through my hair but that's what I would do I would do this step before I put the um wrapping lotion in yeah this is just how I do my TWA um yeah I really like it um I'll show you the back but the back is nothing special because um, the back is super short. I need to get this recut, but the back is super short. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not long enough to roll a grain of rice. So I don't need to really focus back there just from like here up. Yeah, this is just it. This is just my finished hair. It's about, it's still pretty wet. Like I would say it's maybe like 50% dry. But yeah, this is just how I do my hair. Um, this like method could not work for you at all, but I feel like it works for me a lot. Yeah, I think I'm like 3C, maybe like. A little bit into 4a like i'm like a 3c so yeah if you have like that it took me all that to like figure out like if i'm a 3c or not okay but yeah okay i would define my hair as like a 3c texture so if you're like my texture then this may work for you like that wrapping lotion really is life right now um as you notice like if you go and watch my big chop video i said that i have a dimming brush but i have not been using my dimming brush because i feel like it works better on longer hair like other youtubers use um toothbrushes to like and like brush through the hair with the toothbrush and then like a coil up but I don't have any problems like getting my hair to like coil um it's just like the shorter areas get frizzier more and I feel like my hair tends to get frizzier more but yeah that's it that's all I have to show you guys um, if you have any questions about anything just let me know in the comment section and if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one